It's always nice to see when forgotten heroes receive some love and get buff. Liormo used to be quite popular back then, but he has been just collecting dust for a couple of seasons already. Maybe after this buff, we might see him getting picked more often again. Their calm seems pretty solid. Yin supposedly can counter yes. Angela, because when he ults the one ulted by Angela, her ults ends right away. I didn't know about that mechanic, so I will have to find it the hard way. But luckily for you, you don't have to go for that trial and error after watching this. You're welcome. The Lito still has over 900 HP and our retribution should deal 680. He used it prematurely, but got lucky. So don't be afraid of doing it prematurely, if you know what I mean. They overstay their welcome. Sometimes it's okay to help clear the wave like this, because if we can clear it instantly, Joe will be able to reach his lane faster and not miss out on anything from the top wave. I got fooled. I just realized that Valir's passive dot damage doesn't interrupt regen. Interesting. Hello there. This Valir is always in the wrong place at the wrong time. So unlucky. This is the moment when I learned about this Yin, Angela mechanic. Got kicked out right away. Very interesting. Paquito really wanted to get under Angela's skirt. But even if he managed to get the kill, I don't think that would have been worth it, since you never want to do one for one trade for support. Our Cho has completely forsaken his lane. I guess he was getting bored and wanting to join the action, and to be fair, that's one of the main reasons why I also don't like playing the offlaner role that often. Usually you'll be in one lane for a long time and just continuously pushing. Die. I found my favorite boy from the Fire Nation again. 
What's that sauce? Ying obviously won his blue, but since we got the upper hand, we should try to minimize their farm as much as possible. I'm surprised that people still say this in a MOBA game. XT. Oof, bad timing to put Trap Doggy. Ying will have another dash after his all is over, so I will wait for him to use it first before using my own dash. For some reason, whenever I see Valir, I just have to go for it. Valir's POV, this Leomor just can't stop chasing my nuts. Sorry Valir, I know that feeling. Not really sure what Este is trying to say here or who he's talking to. Let's see if I can scare them away a little bit with my ult so I can hit the inhibitor. Half HP, not too bad. It seems like Yin's second skill animation has a bit more delay than before. Using ult to scare them away seems to be quite effective. Let you take the Lord and not throw this. What the dog doing? Oops, I messed up. Honestly, I think Paquito would have been able to escape if only he didn't panic and just ran past Lo Yi. Oh, 
Look here. For some reason, even though Popol has less than half HP, Leomar's crit passive won't proc. That bug almost killed me. But anyway, it does seem that like Leomord is pretty decent right now, especially if you can find an open-minded Angela and convince her to get inside of you as often as possible. Thanks for watching and see ya.